Money J Show. Songa shi down to up to right things we. Niyaza to this narrative die cheat we. Kana mchila uti visa deep die pit we. Make you spill a bean if you know what I mean. Handy. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Denny J Show. We are back. What's going on, Run GZ? How you living? I'm cool, man. What's what's happening? Not too much. How was your week? The week the week was eventful. Monday was Valentine's Day. Yes, that. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> well, oh, you heard about it? <laughs> yeah, you you, I, you 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 just heard? I, yes. I Did you partake? Uh, no, I'm I'm very traditional. I don't believe in that stuff. Rubbish. Uh, Rubbish. That's white people stuff. Rubbish. I'm saying I. I I just saw people post stuff. What happened? What did you get? What, what what's the story? Did you get a, a big ass prison? I I I did get a number of things. I did. A I number. don't want to lie to you. A I number. got a number of things. Uh and it's nice to receive gifts. A number of I things. I did. I did get a number of things. I got a, a lot of stuff from a lot of people that I doesn't know. Your fans. My fans. Uh, fans. Ranji Arguri, Ranji is uh, is on fire. Shame. No, you know, people are very sweet. So, I mean, it's nice to receive things that, you know, obviously it, it means more when it comes from somebody that is, you know. But um, I did get, I got stuff. Well, I don't want to lie. That's dope. Can I have some of the stuff that you got that you don't need? I don't want to share. Okay. Did you get anything, actually? That's a good question. Did, did Do women gift men? I gift men. Well, yeah. I gift my, I don't gift men. Let me correct that. I gift my person. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I got something beautiful. Okay, good. You know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I didn't get uh, what that lady in South Africa got. Lorato? Yeah. She I got did, a, I did a boutique hotel. She got, a, she got a villa, and it's a, like boutique villa hotel and spa. Oh, yeah. How much does a person have to love you to gift you a boutique hotel and spa? How crazy is that? Uh, that's no, but she's constantly getting stuff. Yeah, that's uh, for those who don't know. She's on Metro FM. She's a, a presenter on there, um, okay. and and she's got uh, an amazing husband. We got her a boutique hotel in uh, is it Northcliffe or somewhere fancy in, uh-huh. in Johannesburg. Um, she got a hotel, and she also at the hotel there's a restaurant, and the restaurant is named after her. Uh, it's like a French name, but it. Basically, just translates to what her name is um, in whatever language that is. She's loved, loved. She's loved, loved. And last year, she got like a really fancy like car, right? They rented out like the stadium. What's the name of the stadium? FNB. Yeah, they rented out that stadium, and she got like, you know, the car that they put inside the like, the barriers, and then like put all the balloons in there. Then mm. you pull the string, then everything falls down. Then it's like dramatic. She got that. Like, that man is thoughtful. Thought. Like, okay, obviously he's got money, but he's also extremely thoughtful. So that's nice. Every woman wants that. There's no woman that doesn't want that. But I ask you, I ask you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We watch this guy. Uh, his name is uh, Tamin Lela. Do, do you feel pressure? Um, well, I guess. I mean, who wouldn't want to give their girl a, a boutique hotel in, in the restaurant with their name on it? You know what I mean? Like, hmm? my levels. Yeah, it's my one. Uh, so you got a um, number of presents. I did. From the same person or from different people? You no, know? I mean, so there's so some stuff that I got from people that I don't know at all. How does that even happen? Like, no, it happens all the time. Wow. It happens. I mean, it's amazing to be run G. No, no I'm, it's very normal. It's Valentine's Day. Like, oh, you just get, like, anonymous. It's, like, it's nothing like, wow, it's like flowers, like... Come on, that, those are perishable. Nice. But the thought. It's no, yo, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a nice thought. So it's just, it's nice to be recognized. Yes. Yeah. So um, what, are we, what are we talking about uh, this week? Uh, we, haven't, we haven't been doing too many um, episodes, right? People must have missed us. No, in fact, before we get in too deep into the show, yeah. we were talking about uh, the views. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ranji. Please explain to these people. Okay, so 
we have noticed that there's a lot of fluctuation um, with the number of views, right? So in order for you guys to know when the show is dropping, you have to like and subscribe. Right. So if you don't subscribe, then you won't know that we have another episode dropping on whether it's a Sunday or a Friday, whatever the situation is. So listen, guys, we really support everybody. Thank you so much for the views. Thank you so much for the comments. Yep. Good and bad. Uh, but it would be really nice if you subscribe. Come yes. on, support us. Like us. Subscribe. I'll give you an example. Right. Uh, we did the Olinda Chapel interview. Great interview. People loved that. Um, I think three weeks, four weeks, we had 40,000 views uh, on part one because we had to do part two because it was so long. Right? Yeah, yeah. The part two, uh, the part two is, the part one is over almost like 40K now views, right? Three weeks, four weeks, whatever. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, the second part, uh, we are below 20,000. That's odd, right? Because the people really love the first episode. You assume they would want to watch the second episode. Right. The second part, I mean. But the problem is uh, a lot of people watch the first um, part of the interview and not subscribed, right? Most of them, in fact. Okay. So when we load the next part, part two, they don't know about it, right? Because they're not uh, subscribed. They are not getting notifications. Maybe we need to give them an incentive, like... Why don't you just like kind of sound like boys de tuna as like merchandise at them or something? Come Get on. people to like, like subscribe. What do you want? Ten percent of uh, boys de tuna merchandise. Twenty percent. What do you want? People deserve something. People are like, like subscribe. Uh, tell us in the comments if you've done so. Whatever, we'll give you a discount on all uh, boys de tuna's match. How's that like? And where? Okay, people keep asking about the merch. Where can they get the merch? Remo's, um, Remo's uh, is on 13 George Salindica Avenue. That's between 1st and Angwa Street, right? So it's a man's shop. It's called Remo's um, between 1st and Angwa on George Salindica. 13 George Salindica Avenue. See, maybe somebody wanted to buy something for Valentine's Day and they didn't even know where to buy the merch. It's never too late. True. You understand what I'm saying? Like, True. Come and buy your, your dude or your girl uh, a T-shirt, a hoodie, something. And while we're still on Valentine's Day, come to think about it, did you see that Kanye West like filled the back of a of a truck? It was actually two tr two truck loads. Was it two? Yeah. Okay. I told um, two. for Kim, I'm so you know what I'm so confused by the whole Kim Kanye dynamic. As far as I was concerned, they were divorced, right? But well, I guess I'm not confused. Kanye Arda Munwagi, Arto Munid, Arkunida Kim. But Kanye no pengaza. No, but you see... This is borderline psycho shit. Like, you're saying that... Be, okay, you're calling it psycho because you don't understand him. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's psycho. Okay, all right. Okay, let me, let me put it to you this way. Like, you're going out with dude. And, or, or in fact, you're married to dude, right? And then you guys have a relationship and then, you know, you, you do your own... You separate or you divorce. This is actually a divorce. They divorced. No, yes, I understand that. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then Kim now has a new dude. Uh-huh. And then old dude is sending two truckloads of flowers and uh, new dude has to receive that shit because it's coming to the house. He, he loves her. Why would I judge? Don't, I love you, you, don't you see the psychopath? No, no, I don't. Because just because you don't understand it doesn't mean that it's not okay. Run. He loves run, Kim. Run, run. They have like seven kids or something. Run. Like five or four. Run. Huh? No, I actually don't see the psycho. I think that he's going out on... Do I think that he it's does... It's people like you who are making Kanye do shit like no, this. No. This is fucked up. I think he does some things that I don't understand. Do I think... Do you not think sometimes that Kanye is psycho? I Everybody. Th I think... Everybody seems to think I think... Yeah, Kanye but you see, unfortunately... Twisted. Well, what we think doesn't really change him or whatever the situation is. I think that Ki Kanye... There's a lot of things that are that we don't understand. He sent flowers to his ex-wife that he still cares about. Kim is not feeling it. So it becomes psycho. If I sent you flowers, you're my ex, and you <laughs> tell me you're not feeling it, and you keep doing it, that shit is psycho. I was really weird. Am I lying, guys? Really weird. Like, I was some like, fucked up she, shit. She, she, she weird, Mukati, but, I mean, listen, it, it was a nice gesture. Kanye gets away with a lot of things because he's Kanye, right? Like, a normal person, if a normal person were to do shit like this, they would immediately be called psycho. But it's Kanye, so you get you, you guys cut him a lot of flights. Do you it's think it's up. weird that no. he posts stuff and then deletes it? Because he does he does a lot of different I'm a, I'm gonna call it different. He was dating that that lady 
Um, that lady's not dope at all. Like, I don't even know what the fuck that shit is about. What do you mean? Okay, what's that not dope? That lady. Her? The lady's name is Julia I'm, I'm, pu- I'm putting it next to Kim. You understand oh, what I'm okay, saying? Well, he was that's the problem. That, 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 that's where the problem comes in. But why are you comparing? I have to. Why? You divorce your beautiful wife. Oh, you my go goodness. Out, and then you go Denford. out with some okay chick. Denford, who says she's okay? I say she's okay. You we are all agreed. Me and my people are agreed she is okay. She's not dope. Okay, she, so Kim is dope. Yeah, she's fine. Last. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Are we, are, we can't even waste time talking about that okay, shit. Okay, well, maybe, there was, maybe her heart is special. Okay, <laughs> maybe. But he was dating Julia Fox, right? And then he did like the same, like... But that was like less than two months, isn't it? I don't even know if it was like a, two months. He did the same skill that he did with Kim, right? So when he met Kim, he changed her entire wardrobe. Okay, so he met Julia Fox and did the exact same thing. So there was a lot of comparison being made, like between the two of them. Like Kanye came and just changed their entire wardrobe. He buys you new bags, new shoes. He literally does an entire makeover. He Kanye's you. Okay. Right? So he Kanye'd Julia Fox. And they were doing a lot of traveling together, and it seemed like they were having a lot of fun. Then, I mean, like, I guess I'm trying to understand, because you come from dating. Okay, she was married. She went through a divorce. You come from coming your divorce or whatever the situation is, and then you meet Kanye, who's this big, huge person. I'm yep. trying to understand how Kanye then says to you, like, Shanda Abu, and I still want my ex-wife. Like, how heartbreaking. That um, must be, like, she must have some kind but of that mental chick, health that chick, on. Um, A lot of people think she's a hustler. She's got her own podcast, and she she does these things for publicity and so on. That, that shit was never genuine, I don't think. You think so? Yeah, it was very convenient for her, and uh, I'm sure she got a lot of uh, extra subscribers and viewers to her podcast. She's I'm not, I don't think, because she's come out and said, like, you know, it wasn't working. Well, I mean, also keep in mind that they both seem to do things for social media, right? So yeah. it could have all been a stunt from the very beginning. Maybe okay. they were playing us. Exactly. And he is talking about Kanye. He going in. On Kim's man. He does not like Kim's man. He keeps posting, like, you will never meet my kids. You will never do this. You will never do this. Like, he's not having it at all. Kanye is psycho. That's all, I'm, that's, all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Because you don't understand him. Nobody understands. I mean, you have a point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, still in America. Uh, hey, the Super Bowl. That was something. The Super Bowl halftime show. That was something else. That was nice. That was crazy. Uh, And I was looking at the numbers. Um, uh, For those who didn't watch, the Super Bowl went down, and the halftime show is always a big thing. In fact, a lot of people actually watch the Super Bowl just for the... Halftime show. Halftime show, because Mm -hmm. I don't understand football like that. You probably do. I I, I certainly do not. But, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously being in the States for a long time, and even if I wasn't, I guess... It's the halftime show is huge, huge, yeah, right? Big, so people, like you said, people literally watch it for the halftime show. Yeah. And they had all these old school players. Like they had Dr. Dre, they had Snoop Dogg, they had Mary J. Blige. They had... Um, I like forgetting. how you're just running through those. Those are legends. You gotta, no, but you gotta say that shit slowly. They had Dr. Dre. Dr. Snoop Doggy Dog. Um, who was that? The white dude? Eminem? Eminem. Uh, Kendrick Lamar? Yeah. And the Queen? Mary J. Blige, as well as a surprise uh, performance by Fiddy. They did, yeah. They, I mean, that was fire. Like, yeah. they've never, ever done anything like that before, right? It's always, yeah. like, people that are very current or whatever the situation is. But, man, they pulled in, I mean, the views. Yeah, sick. Were crazy. I'm, I'm just trying to, to understand, like, because um, when, when that went down, I'm an old school cat, so I got it, like, 50, um, I was at Dr. Dre, Snoop, all that shit. I was there w- when those people were killing me. Right. But uh, I'm, I'm just trying to imagine for someone like my son, um, dude is like 20, 22 years old. Um, how fire was it for, for, for the young generation? I mean, the whole, how, well, uh, how fire was it for you? Because okay, so. you're not like really old school like that. But literally for anybody that's alive, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If you follow like hip hop and R&B and all that, right? Those people are legends. It would be, for lack of a better word, legendary mm-hmm. to watch that, right? Yeah. Like, that was huge. Mm-hmm. It, 23, 20, it's like, we're still talking about people like, I don't, I don't like Dolly Parton, 
right? Who's like that? Dolly who's Parton, who's right? That? Come on now. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, or Elvis Presley, like yeah. people like that. Like it doesn't matter how long you've been alive. It could be 10 years, 12 years, 30 years, 50 years. They're legendary. Yeah. Right? Like they've left a mark. So I think for your son, that would be great to watch. Yeah. I, I'd like to think so. Uh, I'm told that um, the video, uh, Still Dre, is now on 1 billion views uh, thanks to the Super Bowl. Because after these guys performed it on the, uh, the halftime show, I'm sure a lot of people Googled it and went to YouTube Yaga to try and find out what the story is. Of course. It's now on 1 billion. That's huge. It's amazing. When was the Super Bowl? Was Sunday? Sunday. Yeah, I think it was on Sunday. So it's one, and today is Wednesday. Yeah. Right? So Huge. it just shut up, mm -hmm. and um, I, it's, it's probably these millennials. They're like, "This song is not bad." What is this? Let me let me go find out more about it, and then they start watching it, and it's amazing. It shut up like it's legendary. I mean, the whole Still Dre um, and the whole Chronic thing and all that stuff. Uh, people were there in the nineties. I mean, it's a big big deal. Of course, you know what I mean. Um, and then also talking about numbers, <coughs> you know, like. Um, to do that whole halftime show, um, you know, it, it cost uh, seven million bucks. For what? Wait, are we? Wait, 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 wait hold on. You know, Is to put up the show. Are, are we including payment of the humans? Um, yeah, I'm sure all those extras and all those people dancing were paid and whatever. The artists. Yeah, the artists. Probably uh, Snoop and all those uh, artists weren't paid because, you see. When you are when you are given the gig to do the halftime show, you don't need money because it's like a big ass advert. A lot of people who do the halftime show end up going on tour and shit, so it always ends up making sense. Watch it. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, I'm told that uh, to do that show it costs seven million bucks, mm -hmm. and out of that seven million bucks, six million dollars, uh, Doctor Dre fronted it. He paid. It came he out of his money. pocket. He, he didn't money. get paid. He paid. So Dre got money, show. money. No, no, he got money, money. Uh, even the same as, uh, what's that dude, uh, The Weeknd? He also paid for his uh, halftime show. So now, the NFL doesn't need to pay anyone to do the halftime show. So they got the money. Because everybody wants to do it. Of course. You understand? Because it, it's like a big boost. Just like I was telling you now, um, Dr. Dre's video, 1 billion views, just from that performance. So when you look at the numbers that, they charge, I don't know, is it 6.5 uh, million for a 30 second ad? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do a halftime show and you're paying 6 million bucks, because I think the NFL paid 1 million, Dr. Dre paid 6, total 7 million Jeez. to do the show. And then, so it's actually just Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre paid $6 million for a 15 million, for a 15 minute commercial. The mathematics works. Oh, he got it. But what he has to do now is, because you remember we've been waiting for an album from Dr. Dre for like forever. So, if he's like the genius that I think he is, he should be able to either release uh, an album after this or go on tour. I mean, he's got a plan. He oh, oh, he's obviously got a plan. But talking about the halftime show, did you see that there was a commercial talking about the crazy, mm -hmm. we call him the crazy, Kanye featured on the McDonald's commercial. Did you see that? Fuck, I didn't see that. So, there's a commercial where um, the person pulls up to the window and she says, can I get a... Uh, then the next person says, ah, uh, the next person says, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So every single person comes and says, can I get, ah. Uh. Then Kanye comes out of, like, it's like a big ass tanker or something like that. Right. Wearing black, you know, the way he dresses. And he goes, can I get, ah. Uh. And you know, McDonald's is big, big. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. McDonald's does not need any commercials at all. Right. But they had this commercial. And Kanye, who's the man of the moment, was in it. Now we have to go Google. We yeah, have to go to YouTube it. to find yeah, yeah, yeah. What can was I, it? It was a McDonald's ad. So it's a McDonald's ad. So the person literally pulls up to the drive-thru and says, can I get ah? And then everybody just comes in and says, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, like that. And you know all the, 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 the big companies pull out their craziest ads for the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. They create crazy ass ads. I was actually going through. I saw like 10, 15 commercials because I actually Google. I actually go to YouTube to find out what commercials they put up because okay. the best commercials for the year come out on Super Bowl. Really? Okay. Yeah. And so that, that's amazing. I have to watch that Kanye one. Which means Kanye, Kanye ain't that crazy. 
because uh, he's every, a genius. Everybody, he he literally is a genius. He's a genius, yeah. but he, when it comes to love, I think he's he's psycho. You understand what I'm saying? He can't be perfect. Well, okay. Just moving on from that, real quick. Mini Tlamini right is going through a divorce, and she announced her separation from her husband on Tuesday, which was the day after Valentine's Day. So you know how these people like when they so, get. So she waited to get her gift. And then the following day, no, well, well, from the statement that she put out, she said that they've been separated for a while, for several months. So, okay. like you know, these social media people, like they have like people that advise them or whatever the situation is. So mm-hmm. maybe she had been advised that the best time to release then this article or this statement was yeah. best to be released after Valentine's Day. So she released a statement. You know, obviously these divorce statements are always very, very cordial. And, um, you know, very nice, tidy letter to say that, listen, we have decided that we are going to separate. Right. We're still friends. We're, you, know, you know, they're always the same. We, you know, we will maintain our friendship. Um, we still love each other very much, but we've chosen to go separate ways and blah, blah, blah. So, mm. I, okay. Divorce has become a very, it's become a norm. Right. Because everybody doing it, mm-hmm. like I, I, I mean, listen, I'm not saying anybody should stay in a in a bad situation, but I guess the question is, why make an announcement for everybody? Why why is that necessary? Uh, so that uh, when you're seen with your new boyfriend, people don't um, make a big deal out of it. So you so gotta, you just gotta get it out there. So like I'm no longer with dude, so if you see me doing my thing, it's just leave me alone. So you owe social media. I guess if you put your yeah, life in the yeah, limelight. Yeah, when you're a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess if you put your life in the limelight, then you then owe everybody an explanation, right? Yeah. Of what's going on. But I mean, listen, uh, I haven't heard any like ruckus behind it. It seems very tidy up till now. But you know, with time, mm-hmm. the nitty gritty always yeah. comes out. Mm-hmm. And that, that's what's happening in, in South Africa. Anything else? Uh, right now, yeah, still in South Africa. Um, you know DJ Euphonic? Yes. DJ Euphonic um, has taken on a third wife. Hmm. Two wasn't enough. Uh, you know, I mean, three is always a better number than two. <laughs> All right. I'll, I Hello. mean, you know how I feel <laughs> about... I mean, listen, if it's done above board, if it's done above board, yeah, and she knows about it, or by she, I mean the first two wives. Okay, so um, the first wife is not happy with him taking on a third wife. So she decided to step out. Well, maybe because she, he didn't say it. I mean, or you know what? Maybe you think that once it's me mm-hmm. and then it's you, we done. Right. Then you go and get somebody else. Now we three. Because once there's three, there can be four. And four, there can be five. Right? But I think, are these not conversations that people have prior to getting into these situations? Like, you know what? Um, I might like a second wife. How would you feel about me having a second wife? How would that conversation go, though? Like It depends who you're talking to. Like, yo, yo, I see, like, uh, we're happy here, the two of us. Um, I was thinking maybe we could spice it up with the third one. No, but that's not, that's there's, not, no spi- no, 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 there's no there's no spicing a, it up. There's no spicing it up because it's it's not it's not a a three way relationship, right? It's two relationships with one person, right? So we're not really spicing anything up. It's more about I guess it's something that you as a wife do for your partner. It's an extension of love. That's that's the only way I can look at it because it's we're not spicing. I, I don't want it spicy. Um, does it not speak to you to say like you're inadequate uh, when a not guy gets a, a second no. wife? No, I I don't think so. I think men just do all types of things that don't make sense. So, uh, are you are you for it because you think that if dude gets a second wife and a third wife, then uh, he won't cheat? No, he's gonna cheat regardless. But he's gonna cheat regardless. But I just think don't, that don't get me wrong. I, I like I like your way of thinking. No, no, no. I, I you know, I, okay. The reason I think this way is because I, I think I've said this before in previous shows. 
where I don't want to live in a reality that's not real. I don't want to live in a bubble. I want to live in reality. The reality is that men are not faithful. Mm-hmm. I would love my man to be faithful. Mm-hmm. I would love it. But you know what? As much as I would love it, it's just not reality. Right. Okay, so if we're going to, if you're going to do this, can we at least do it above board, right? Um, and, and even then, if he does it above board and takes a second wife, it does not then stop him from getting a second, third, fourth wife, whatever the situation is. But it's an understanding that you have to have in your family. And a lot of people won't understand it. There's going to be a lot of people that I'm sure friends, family won't understand it. But yeah. I am I'm open to the idea of discussing it. And that's a me thing. I'm not saying, I don't think I'm inadequate. I don't think anything. I just think I'm being realistic. But there aren't that many people like you, though. Like, a lot of people who have second, third, fourth wives, they don't discuss it. They just go, uh, I've impregnated this one, uh, so I have to do this, or whatever. Are you saying the women or the men? The the men. It's It's not a conversation that we are very comfortable to talk to, to talk about, because the people we're talking Two about it are not very receptive most most of the times. It's not like you can just go home and say, "Yo, oh, madam, I think I need a, a second wife." You're not. Uh, it's not enough here. No, but it, look at look at the way you said it's it, right? Like look at the way you said. It. I think that these conversations. Okay, so how do you think I could say it nicely? Okay, I've had this conversation with um, my partner. Right, I was like, "Okay, so how do you feel about this?" Who brought out? Who brought? Who brought it up? Was it you or him? I did. Okay, right. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like, hey, you know, what do you think about polygamy? What do you think about polygamy? So uh, saying, that's so, so that's exactly how he was supposed right. to. Right. So it's like, what do you what do you think? About? Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I'm open to it. Are you really? Okay. Well, here's the way I look at it. Right. Then I kind of go back and forth into it, and it's not. And I don't want anybody to think that I'm endorsing being a second or a fi- like it's it's not that at all. But I'm saying that. Reality is what reality is. This double standard thing is very real. There's no, my husband cheats on me, I cheat on him. It's not, it's, it, it just, it's not the world that we live in. Right. It's like people coming to Zimbabwe and saying, you know what, I want to use my swipe card. I shan't You understand? Gamchira jirguitika kunok in Zimbabwe. Right. Right? Be realistic. And I'm just being realistic. I've been so heartbroken. I've cried. I've done this. I've done this. I've done this. Why? Because you know what? I'm living in a fantasy. Mm-hmm. Live in reality. It, it doesn't work for everybody. And I'm not even saying that I want to get married to a guy who's going to take me on as a second wife or I don't want to get married to a guy who's going to take me on as a first and take a second. Yeah. But I am saying that this is reality. And I think if you do then decide to go into polygamy or whatever the situation is, give your first item mm-hmm. some time. Yeah. Like, let us get married in 2022. I mean, it's so cool that you brought it up. Huh? Yeah. Imagine if dude had brought it up. I mean, even just gathering the guts to bring it up. It's not that easy. You made it easy for a nigga. But isn't that the friendship? I mean, that's dope. I mean... Like, don't we discuss everything? Like, Women, this is what you must do. Don't we discuss everything? Yes. Like, say I'm dating you, right? Mm -hmm. And I say to you, you know what? Denford, right now you're doing so well. You've got so much money. If you were to lose everything, I don't know if I'd stay with you. Mm -hmm. Right? Are those not the discussions? I've got a friend of mine who says that every time we go out to dinner and I see a really pretty girl, say to my husband, she's hot, right? And she was like, you know... and. I remember the first time she said that I looked at it and I was like, huh? She and she was like, we have these conversations. Right. Because whether he verbalizes it yep. or not, he's still thinking it. Uh, so you, you're like preempting the shit. Like. Yeah. So she was like, we talk about stuff like that. And she says that's what then feels. But it's not everybody that can. Like I said, it's a personal understanding that then happens in the, you know, of your family. Not in you, even your extended family and your friends may not understand that. So, ladies at home, go and just say to dude, what do you think about polygamy? And then you'll get to hear his true feelings about it. But it's happening every day, dude. It's literally, we're, it's happening every Randy, day. Do you we're know that there are people who, if they even mention the word polygamy in their household, they won't be able to sleep at home? Not everybody's like you. Oh. Not everybody's cool about shit like that. It's like a big deal. Like what the, because the, the, the minute you mention the word polygamy, the chick immediately says, do you think I'm not enough? I immediately. Guess, I guess I don't look at it that way. Yeah. So I guess I don't look at it that way. I just feel like this world that we live in. If all women were like you, this would be a beautiful place. Psh, boy. The world would be a and I'm not place. saying that I want it. 
either, by the way, for all those people that are out here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I want it. I'm saying that um, that's beautiful. it's reality. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, do, you, do you watch uh, Vessas? You watch Vessas, right? The, the singing thing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, um, was it yesterday? What's today? Today's 15, 16? I don't even know. Shit. Mm -hmm. um, music, Soul Child, and uh, Anthony Hamilton um, did uh, a versus. Uh, but before this versus was done, these guys wanted to monetize. Timberland and Swiss brought out a statement that they, you know, to watch it. This time around, okay. you had to make a payment, like subscribe. You couldn't just watch it for free like before. Uh, -uh don't nobody want to do that. Exactly. That, that, so that, 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 it don't work like that. Exactly. So after the backlash, they had to uh, revert back to the old system. But why? Why you want to watch that was? Oh, don't talk about that. Because remember, it's it's like it's like us. We do this beautiful show, and we don't get paid, right? Beautiful show. So at some point. You want to You want to get paid. You're like, uh, -uh I'm you want to make of this. money out of right, it. Right, right, so it's right, the same right. with with versus. They've been doing it. They've been giving us these fantastic shows for a while, but we're not paying for these shows. And of course, they pay big money to the artists. They mm -hmm. pay everyone and and whatever. Um, but I think the model for it to work, they have to have endorsements and uh, sponsorships and surely adverts they've got and shit. Surely, yeah. They so have that. Um, because um, they were trying to make money that way. I, I get it. You understand? There are some vessels that you can pay, can can decide to pay. You understand? Like if uh, Jay Z was going uh, on against, uh, I don't know, shit, Elo I don't know, you'd pay for that, right? A lot of people would pay. I don't know about music, social, and Anthony Hamilton. Like that's like. But I guess maybe they were they were piggybacking off the platform that was already there, right? So they were saying that this platform has been built so high that. Surely, at this stage of the game, yeah. we can get on and make some money. You know, it's like WhatsApp. Remember, there was a time when WhatsApp wanted to start charging, mm -hmm. and then they just shelved it because it's it's very easy to 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 pick the mood. Because then we are going to switch to Telegram. Ain't nobody got time for that, or wherever you understand. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So once you do versus for two years, and then suddenly you think you wanna you want us to to pay, we're not going to pay. I for shit, because somebody else is going to start something else for free. I you understand. So if you're going to make people pay, you got to make them pay from the onset. You understand what That's I'm saying? That's true. Yeah. But uh, even then, but if you make people pay, you're not going to get that many. If you, I mean, come on now. Yeah. Unless if your show is like fantastic. Of course. You understand what I'm saying? So, so uh, Sweezy brought out a statement uh, on Instagram um, after the backlash and then they reversed. And see you all, see all right here tonight uh, on Insta versus TV who you're rocking with. Anthony Hamilton official or music soul child. You can also watch in HD on versus uh, com. I was out of the country. Don't ask me who did it. It's fixed. Bless up. Love y'all. You know, like it was like a cover up. Tidy. Trying nice and tidy ish. Like. Up. Yeah, but I mean, like we can see through that shit, right? Even if you're overseas, like you're on WhatsApp, you're on the phone. There's too the much phone. going on. You're talking about things that are going on. And before I forget, because I, I want to discuss this with you and I haven't. Yeah. Have you heard about the Tinder swindler? I haven't watched it. No, no. In fact, what? I have. I've watched like 40, 40 minutes. I haven't finished 30 Boy. minutes or whatever. I, okay, I've got like terrible insomnia. And I woke up at like 3 a.m. and watched it. My Lord. Yeah. Simon Lviv. Mm -hmm. Batman. Batman in a real life. I, you know what? I'm, I'm disgusted. But that's that's borderline evil, isn't it? I'm disgusted. I am so dis. I mean, you know, I, I part of, like I, I I really tried to analyze the entire thing. Right? You meet somebody, you guys get along. He takes yeah. you on a trip. He makes you believe. He's telling you he loves. Like you've bought what would you get? Do you understand? And the nigga just using you to pay for something else. And it's, it's exorbitant amounts of money on top of money, on top of money, on top of, like, and several women. Yeah, but how cold must you be to be able to do that? Because He's an ice prince. He deserves, and, and don't forget, he went to jail for like six months. 
because they couldn't get anything concrete on him because I don't, you know, the law is just so finicky, yeah. right? But he used all these women, he, and he goes to jail for six months, gets out and he's back like he's he never left. Job. Like he never, and back on Tinder. Yeah. And I noticed a lot of people are getting pics with him. He's even got more followers now. So, so, okay, I've got so many questions. The women that outed him, right? I mm. understand exactly why they did it. But it's almost like a backfire because he's even hotter than he was before. Yeah. And now this is a, a boost on his scam. Mm, like, it, where, where are the jail people? But how do Where are the people who, who, who say who must go to jail and who mustn't go to jail? And why have they not found him? And why don't they lock him up again? But don't you blame the, wo the woman in a bit Absolutely also? Absolutely not. You're in a relationship with the person who's made you believe that you love them. You blame the Are you but mad? At what, at what point? I mean, like... What do you mean at what point? With Ramari, Maria Pera, with Ramari, Maria Pera. At what point do you pick it up, though? No, but... How, how stupid must we're you in be a relationship. to keep going? Don't forget. You see, what you're, what you're not understanding no, is no, that... No, no, look, look. They, he, the but he set the foundation. The same thing. He set the foundation, Denford. But I feel so sorry for the chick because 250 grand. Huh? The chick or chicks? No, no. Uh, remember I said I only watched 40 minutes. So okay. So I, there I are several watching. women, yeah. right, that mm -hmm. have been duped exorbitant amounts of money. Yeah. All right? And he used the same approach, the same whatever mm -hmm. on everybody. So you're dating this person. This person is making you feel special. They're flying you out here. They're taking you here. You're take he made them believe mm -hmm. that this was his lifestyle. Yeah. Right? You can be with the person for 10 years, and they could be making you believe that there's somebody that they're not. So it has nothing to do with the woman. It has so everything to do with him. All right. Okay, here's, here's, here's what I want to ask. Um, these women, huh? okay, I'm not, I'm not siding with this guy because what he did is, is fucking crazy. Uh, you can't have people run down it's debts mental. in your name just so you can, you know, disturb the peace and have fun with other women, you know, using money from the other woman. But um, do you not think that these women, uh, uh, where they thought they were investing in a guy who had resources, and then that of course they did. You understand what I'm saying? It, it's it's a question where these women were willing to put out this money as an investment so that they benefit bigger because this guy is supposed to be a diamond mogul. At some point, they were hoping to cash in. No, no, no. Uh, you see that? No, no, I, I want, no, 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 no. Don't, don't be too feminist about it. I just want you to look this at it from an objective point of view. You different, understand what I'm saying? I feel so sorry for all these women. Don't get me wrong. But now I'm analyzing. Because a lot of people, whenever people get scammed, it's through greed. You've, you've heard of, of, of things where an email pops up on your, on your computer and somebody says, uh, my uncle died, he left this money, I need you to send me $10,000 so that we can cash in on this $2 million. You've had these scams, right? Several the times. The Nigerian type scams. Several times. You understand? So when you look at it, when you look at this perspective, right, I'm not, I'm not cold, you know? I'm, I feel so sorry for these women. But if you are someone who is uh, sharp enough if something is too good to be true, it probably is not true. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, that I'll give you. But here's the thing. This guy has set the foundation for the relationship, right? We're communicating. We're talking. I'm flying you out here. 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 We've been in this yeah. for a while before I, you even asked me for money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Before that's, what, even that's, that's what good scammers do. Okay, well, but nobody they goes into nobody goes into it thinking that you know what I'm going to meet a scammer. Yeah. Okay, fine, they meet on Tinder. A lot, I I know a lot of people that have had great relationships and still have have good relationships and are married or whatever the situation is. Listen, any platform, if we meet people live like this, it can work. It can't work. If I meet somebody on Tinder, it can work. It cannot work. Yeah. Fact of the matter remains is that you know what, the the whole thing. He he cleverly. You cannot scam all those women. And say that the problem is the women. The problem is him. Like you said, I no, agree I'm with saying, you. I'm not saying. I agree with you. At some stage, not. it's too good to be true. Yeah. But you know what? Shit. Sometimes you meet people that you think this is too good to be true, and it really is, yeah. like amazing. But I mean, the the guy, point blank, period, is a scammer, dishonest, uh, heartless, cold, all the most terrible, evil, cruel, uh, uh, all the most terrible things you can even think of. He left these women in 
thousands of dollars of debt. Yeah. And and what what is the lesson here for women? Don't give in a man your, money. In your view. Yeah. Um because you see, look. Okay, okay the lesson this is guy, yeah. this guy did it on a bigger scale. You understand? There are guys who will rent out a nice car. Huh? Oh, yeah, we'll believe this. So on a smaller scale, right? Oko like it's a lifestyle. Oko in this out, they spent a, a bit of money that they don't have. Right. Koko believe visa, and then of us will over back. You understand? The scale is different, right? This guy was like major league, right? Then they because you know the scammers have there's levels to the scamming. Of course, shit. there's levels to the shit. Yeah, but it's always greed. When you look at it, it's greed at some point, right? Maybe, maybe greed is a strong word, but you ever walk up from what you need back and you got or couldn't did a back. And don't be sudden. We shall did a back round growth on the narrow. Then it turns out that I'm a back. And it means you won't go down this scheme more in your own way. Yeah, one go down with take advantage of background at some point without telling me the love and whatever was working or whatever. Cool, we get along, it's cool. Yeah? But at some point, if I wasn't a scammer, you were going to benefit from me, right? Do you realize that Denford in every no, no, I mean, I mean, I just answer that for okay, me. Okay, yes, you were going to benefit from me, right? Uh, possibly. Yeah, so the element of greed is still there, right? Okay, I think you're not the greediest. I think chick using out the word, there. I think using the word greed is is an inappropriate word to use. Yeah, maybe there's a lighter yeah, word. I, I think greed is, is not the right word to use. Yeah. I think that in every relationship, there's a giver, there's a receiver. Mm-hmm. I don't care what kind. In every relationship, whether it be boss employee, yep. whether it be friends, mm-hmm. whether it be you know a proper relationship like lovers, yep. right? There's always a person that's giving. There's always a person that's receiving. Yep. Period. Let's get that straight. Mm-hmm. Um. Lesson learned from all of this is that, you know what? Don't believe the hype and don't believe the lies. Yeah. Don't believe the hype because it's, do you know, put, to put it in a simpler way, if you look at my profile picture right now, you go to my Instagram pictures, everybody posts the best pictures of themselves. Yep. Right? Because I want to present myself to be a certain kind of way. Right. I don't want to, you know, let you see it me. It might look- not be real. No, no. What well, my point is that it's the best of the best, mm. right? I'm, I'm, I'm showcasing myself the best of the best. It yeah. could be a filter. Mm-hmm. It could be this, but it's the best of the best of the best. It's not the way it is all the time. Yeah. Do you understand? So we all present ourselves the way that we want people to see us at that particular time. Yep. This is why people say that, you know what, what is it, catfishing, right? Remember there's catfishing where somebody presents to be somebody that they're not because they want you to like them, whatever the situation is. Same kind of situation. Tinder swindler pretended to be somebody that he did was not right. to get to scam women. Right. And women been scamming us forever, though, with the filters Boy. and the fake lifestyle and all this fake And you guys and haven't fake. been? So you get it. We are agreed. Okay, There's we scam one another. Out no, there but men, men do it more to women. I, I, you understand? So I'm not, I'm not saying what this guy did was cool. It was fucked up because it was like next level. Of you course. understand? You, you leave someone with debts of 250 grand. That's like a lifetime. On Amex. Of, you understand? That's like a lifetime. American Express. Amex. Yeah. You can't do that to nobody. Yeah. But it's a lesson uh, uh, learned, I, I suppose. Women have learned this lesson. But you know, with love, it's very difficult to learn shit, right? Because you're gonna meet a guy and then he's gonna tell you the same shit that you've heard before, but because he's presented it differently, it's gonna sound nice and it's gonna look genuine. And you're gonna be like, you wouldn't do that to me. And then you're gonna like four. For the same shit that you saw in the swindler. Are these lessons you're gonna teach your daughter? Uh yes, I'll I'll teach her as much as I can. It's tough out here on these streets. You know? But it's one thing to lie to somebody about you know, like little things. But level also. What's little? What's little? Guys lie all the time. You can't be a guy and not lie. Okay. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm asking. Sometime. So so give me an example of some little. Of what? What's okay to lie about? Because you said it's okay to lie about little things. So what's okay? Oh, uh, I could be at the club with the boys. I could be at the strip club and then I would say I'm at home. That's a lie. But it's not going to hit anybody. I can't tell you how I'm going to the strip club. Yes, you can. Uh, I can't. Well, you can run G. I can, but uh, no, no, no more people. You can't. No, it's, you can. You know, I'd run. I'm going out with my boys. We're going to the strip club. I'll see, you later. see some titties and ass. Sure. Some beautiful titties and sure. ass. Sure. Because okay. I what? There's nothing. There aren't that many runs. Out there's a lot. There aren't that many run Gs out here. Well, you know what? If you're having an issue with your man, guys, guys are lie about stupid shit because they know their their chicks are jealous. They don't want them to. Doesn't get you anywhere. 
Because, I mean, listen, you can either tell me the truth or you can lie to me, right? That's I'd rather why we need to have a Ranji show. You got to school these chicks. They don't know what you know, though. Boy, please. <laughs> I just think that it's, it's, you know, I'd rather my person is just honest to me. I may not like it, but I'd rather get the honesty. Because the lies will just become overwhelming, bruv. Ranji, I'm going out with the boys. Uh, I want Fridays to myself. Okay, cool. We're going to go pick up these other chicks. No, uh, pick up other chicks. I, wow, wow. So at what level? Yati, strip club. And I, even if you don't go to a strip club, if you go to a regular club, you go to Pablo's, there's lots of beautiful women out there, right? You don't live in a bubble. I'm not the only woman that you're seeing or, or, or whatever, seeing. You're seeing a lot of beautiful women. Me and you are then together because what? We get along or we vibe or whatever the situation is. It doesn't mean I'm the baddest thing. Ah, uh, bless. Run is the future. But there aren't that many runs out here. I, you see, I think there's a lot. I think a lot of people are transforming. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. so. We need to have the run G show, then you can school these people. Thank you. What a behind. What would the run? We'd love for you to be there with the ad lib. Yeah. Uh, America, South Africa, are we done? Is that, is that, uh, is that all we had uh, on, on, on that? I think we, we've discussed a lot. Let's move to um, our very own. Unvaccinated civil servants is on the uh, bad from work without salary. But from work without salary, yeah. You have to be vaccinated to be a civil servant, I guess. Is that good or bad? I'm vaccinated. Um, but it's a personal, it's a personal thing. Right? Is it, I think it, yeah. is it a personal thing? Because, it is a personal because thing. Because if you're carrying some shit and then you come to Just the Just because I'm vaccinated, me, sweetie, doesn't mean that I can't get COVID. doesn't mean that I can't pass it on. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. But you, we're reducing the chances. I, I still, I, you know what, I just believe everybody has a right to do whatever the hell they want to do. Um, if you don't want to pump yourself full of the vaccination, don't do it. So I think that if we're now forcing people, then we're giving people, we are, we are taking their right of, um, just their rights away. There you go. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> in order for us to protect everybody, everybody has to be protected. So there are some people who don't believe they need to be protected, but for the greater good, we have to make sure they are protected by any means necessary. These moves are not meant to curtail your freedoms. Do you? Okay, can I say this? I, and I agree with you 100%, right? Yeah. But do you know that Anything, anything that's a foreign body that you put, a foreign anything that you put into your body is not necessarily good. There have been a lot of deaths from people that have been vaccinated, right? And did not take to the vaccination well. But those people had like underlying conditions. No. Are you saying maybe you, you might have an underlying condition and then you're forced to get vaccinated? No, no, I'm just saying that you've made the choice to say, I want to get vaccinated. And then something, you know, a fatality has happened or whatever the situation is. All I'm saying is that I, I understand where that whole thing is coming from to say everybody i do understand it yeah. i just don't think it should be like either get vaccinated or you're out of a job okay. i think that's wrong what about masks and shit like okay what if you don't like masks and then you want to get on a plane that's completely different because mask is literally like i'm just walking around covering my mouth like respect me right but i'm not putting yeah, but, a foreign but, but you're being, element you're into being my body. stopped from breathing nicely i want that's different that's a freedom that's been taken away you want to breathe your air nice it's like wearing clothes if somebody says, you know what, you cannot come into p uh, pick and pay or whatever, the TM, because you're not wearing shoes. I mean, that's an accepted norm from forever. I'm talking about a mask. No, but now, if a mask has become a norm. You believe that a mask is stopping you from breathing nicely. But the authorities think that if you wear a mask, you're protecting everybody else. So you have to wear a mask whether you like it or not, even though it's, it's going against your freedoms. Okay. You're no longer that free with the mask on. You do know that there's people who will walk around and not wear a mask, right? Yeah. Like, there's activists that will say, you know what, you're taking my freedom away from me. It's like, you know what, nudists. Yeah. They'll say, mm. So, I don't know, it's a, it's a tricky... Yeah. It's a thin line. Yeah. So, thin line. that's where leadership comes. There's a point where somebody must say, look, if you don't do this, we won't do this for you. It's not like any, anybody's going to be forced to take the vaccine. But the choice is simple. You want to go to work, you have to be vaccinated. If you feel so strongly about not being vaccinated, just stay at home. Oh, you're out of a job? You still have a choice. That's crazy. I mean, it's a fucked up choice. It's so crazy. <laughs> but well, actually, it doesn't sound choice. like a choice to me. 
Yeah. It doesn't sound like it because you know what? Your choice has been taken away. Um, it doesn't sound like the choice. Uh, we but I mean, listen, with, with, with like the times or whatever the situation is, I think, I, I think we all got vaccinated very early. Yeah. Right? Before and, we and, and none of us has died. Before we really understood, you know, whatever the situation is, but... Yeah, we're, still, mean, we're still out here. We're still I'm out here. I'm double, double, double vaccinated. Like, I got Sinovac and I got Pfizer. Like, so I've had, like, four shots. And I don't know if it's the best thing I could have done, but I was, you know, I had COVID, and I was so afraid to get it again that I was like, I'm going to stop this by all costs. Great, and I yeah. And luckily, I have not gotten it again. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, uh, the bad news uh, for us YouTube creators, Zoll um, intends to start charging ten percent tax on internet packages next month. I saw that. Yeah. So for March, uh, I think I think that basically just means like if you're paying whatever you're paying, you're going to be paying ten uh, percent more. It's forced. Uh, well, it's a tax. The government wants this money. Um, I, I don't think it's good for uh, internet penetration because ultimately we want everybody to be connected. Of course. Internet must go down. The price of internet must go down so that everybody has access. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this is going against it, and I think it's a directive from uh, the revenue authorities. So do you think it's going to affect, do you think it's going to affect, like, the number of... We're having problem with subscribers. Right. No, well, this I'm not, is not going to be good for us. I'm talking about you said Zol, right? Yeah, this is Zol, and and Zol. I mean, I'm I'm just talking about Zol, but it's it's. I think it's going to be applied across the board. Till one because and all them like motherfuckers. It's like, yeah, it's like a Zimmer thing. People are already complaining about it. people are already complaining about data for one hour, right now. Yes. At this price, so imagine what it's going to be like with that ten percent increase. Yes. Slip it tight. It's on us. Just some guy you tell from get tight, yeah, true. Oh, one. Um, and uh, there was a footballer, somebody that passed on. Yes. Um, who was that? Who passed on? Charles Johanne. Uh, I mean, we are old school. We, we don't know much about him, but he was. Uh, what happened? He was gunned down. Yeah, South Africa for you. Yep. Uh, Charles Charles Johanne, right? He used to be in the in the Warriors. Yeah, uh, that is sad. I'm saying he was. That's gone unfortunate. Down. He he was like, um, was it an Uber? Not Uber. What's the other one? He was one of those drivers for those apps. The one that's not Uber. The other one, the popular one in South Africa. Uh, yeah, I forget. But uh, Lyft. Yeah. Sad news. No, there's no Lyft in South Africa. Um, Bolt. I think okay. Bolt or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. So yeah, our condolences to the family. Absolutely. That's messed up. And um, Strive Masiwa. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. He's going to boss. He's leaving Facebook. He's, he's, making, he's making some serious moves there, right? Yeah. Because uh, he, he's got his own thing. Yeah. Sasai Moments. Uh, you know, they've got their own app. Uh, and I believe he has like 6 million followers on Facebook. So I think this move is meant to like uh, boost his, his, uh, his uh, application. So, uh, let me read what he said. Uh, when I told you at the beginning of 2020 that I was going to shut down my Facebook account at the end of the year, some of you were quite dismayed. But you know that we have been using this innovation called Facebook for seven years now. And whilst I think it is fantastic, as an entrepreneur, I can never be satisfied with using someone's product without at least trying something myself. Wow. Neither should you in your own field. Okay. That's Strive is a That's bullet. G That's G right? right there, right? Like, I respect you. I like this. Mm -hmm. But I, I can't support this. this some good Seven shit. Seven years? This is some good shit. I see these guys are onto something. Let me go make my own. So there's Sasai moments. I think he's, I think once he moves, because he has a lot, a, a very big following, and, and, and people want to wanna hear his nuggets of wisdom, they're probably going to follow him to Sasai. I think that's the mathematics. I wonder what... I, I just like to know his six million people that are following him. Yeah, where are they from? That would be important yeah, to know all as across well. Across Africa, yeah. If you if if you read the the comments and uh -huh. review, uh -huh. yeah, it's like a, it's like all across Africa. Listen, he's got the power. Yeah, 
He's got the power to do it. I think it's like he's a, up to something. It's a, it's a cool power move. Absolutely. Because like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you've got six million followers and they like hearing from you, they're probably going to follow you to some extent. So mm-hmm. it's going to be a big, big boost for Sasai moments. Right. So we just wait to see how that's going to go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, local artists. Didn't we discuss something about local artists, Gary? Which one? Yeah, yeah. You were telling me something about. Uh, he's got Gary a new Martin. album that's out. He was meant to come to the show. Um, uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So the producer is going to tell us about that. I don't know how far they went. He's got a new album that's out, and he's really been pushing like the whole initiative on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, haven't heard it. Yeah. The album. Yeah. Um, and to be very honest with you, I didn't even know who he was until yeah. he like started with this very aggressive initiative on Instagram to you know let people know that he's got a new album out and etc. So. We should definitely get him on the show. Yeah, he's noise. definitely caught my attention. Yeah, you were supposed to. You were supposed to come at some point. Uh, I don't know how far they went with uh, the producer. I think. Um, yeah, so I think we'll look out for him. He should be coming on the show. Absolutely. And we want him to to do one or two songs, or whatever, from the album. Mm-hmm. He's got a new album, I believe. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. And great men. Yeah. Let's talk about him. Well, congratulations to him firstly on his. Yeah. On his union. Yep. And there was a live, um, I think the queen, the queen did a live uh, and was questioning people regarding the, apparently there was a, a, a wedding that was held for him by TO Events. Mm-hmm. And um, after the wedding was done, great man was left a, a in a, in a huge debt, I think 2.5 or something. And uh, when the whole wedding thing was done, we were told that everything was covered and two events had handled everything. All right. And there's not supposed to be any debt. But apparently there is. And so uh, the finger is being pointed at two events. Um, people are saying they, they stole money. And this is why... Uh, the the dude is in in, in debt. Mm-hmm. Well, whatever it is, there's a lot going on there. People are really going live. You know, Alinda went live too, right? But she she took she did she say she w- she was out of that that live world. She she did say she was not gonna hit the live button, but I mean, she hit the. Alinda, what's up? You you to- you said there wasn't gonna be any live anytime soon. She wasn't expecting it. You never would have expected. Well, what was that about? What's the story? There's. You know what, I actually, there's something going on between her and my TT. My okay. TT said, I, I, honestly, I couldn't, under, I couldn't understand what, what okay. really was so going we, on we there. We're going to need more info on that. Um, Bless, do you know what happened? Anybody? Okay, there's a situation there. That needs to be followed up on. Yeah. Okay, we're going to need to follow. Um, Felton Kamambo, you remember the, the Zifa chairman who was suspended? Yes. Um, so after he was suspended, right, he went on to suspend other club, uh, chairman or whatever after he was suspended. Right? So you, you, you are suspended. Yeah. It, it, it's the ignorance for me. Right. So he went on to suspend these other people. That's not, that can't be how, how you suspend somebody when you suspended. Exactly. That's what, that's what everybody's thinking. So what he did is he, he, he used a Zifa letterhead and tried to suspend these other club, uh, chairman or whatever. And now he's in hot water because uh, now he's being charged uh, with fraud. I actually reached out to him. I thought he, he would have been, fr- it would have been very cool if we had him on the show because he has his own way of thinking. And I, I j- actually just wanted him to explain to us what's happening. And? You understand? Uh, and at some point, he, he replied me and said, yeah, yeah, well, we can do it. And then he just went cold. You understand? Like, so now he's in hot water now because, <laughs> because you, you know, he tried to go to the uh, uh, finals of CAF. You know, the, the, we had the championships there. And then he tried to go and then he was um, not allowed to go. During his suspension? Yeah. He, he's doing a lot during yeah. the suspension. And then so he was uh, he was stopped from leaving the country. And then I think that's where he ended up in court or whatever. So now his passport has been taken away. He's now up for fraud. I mean, the guy, he's also extreme. Yeah. And you know what he did after they, they stopped him? 
from trying to leave the country to go to, to the capture. He, he then wrote a letter to FIFA and said, uh, you must suspend Zimbabwe. The government is interfering. And I, I don't think he understands the magnitude because football is a big thing. We need him. You understand? Hit him up. Hit him up. Yeah. I need to understand. I want mm. to understand. Because you know what? They're, they're ha- For him to be doing this, uh, he actually has a reasoning behind this yeah. madness. So I, I was very curious to find out, like, why would somebody say, suspend my country over a, 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 a misunderstanding? Because there's a misunderstanding between him and SRC, mm-hmm. which they could fix. But he doesn't have to take Zimbabwe with him. We can't get yeah. banned, chucked out. People will risk it all. Whatever. He's risking it all. Do you understand? Yeah. He's prepared to self-destruct. Yeah. So now he doesn't yeah. have access to his passport. Um, and he's now up for fraud. So I don't know how much... It's uh, tricky. Uh, he's not that much of a genius. It's the ignorance for me. <laughs> that's it's, it's the <laughs> ignorance that's for it, me. I think like Breakfast Club, we must have a donkey of the day type thing. <laughs> At some point, like whatever. I don't know. Nice that's ignorance. The, that's he, he's really doing sharp. a lot... He's doing more in his suspension than he did when he was in the position. Exactly. So I, I, I don't know how that's going to go. It's right, going to be interesting. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what else, Run? Is this a week wrap for me? Like, what, what else you got for me? I think that's a week wrap. I mean, we haven't had any weddings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no weddings. We had the, didn't we have a, what, what else did we have? No, no wedding. Um, just Valentine's Day, which, like, you know what? There was a party, wasn't there? A party, mm. party, we are party in Cape Town. We were oh discussed. wait, Zodu had a fiftieth. Yes, that's huge. Zodu had a fifty. She had a fiftieth. Con- yeah, congratulations. We we must have her on the show, right? Do you think she will come? Uh, why not? She will. You understand? I'd love might to. Inter- she? Might she? Will she? I'd love to interview her. Yeah. Reach out to her. Okay. Yeah. I mean, listen, that we... I mean, there was no Davido at the party. No, but I was... Or whiskey. Fl- but it was flesh. But it was not Davido. But I, I don't... Team Yoga, to be honest with you, the way the team rolls, it doesn't look like they care about all of that. Right. Like, they are very content with being just them. It would right. be really nice to have at least one rich cousin. It would be nice to have Sodwa, because it was her, you know, 50 that she had. Uh, but we need one of them to come on here and let us know how it was. It looked very lavish. They yep. took makeup artists. I mean, they did. She showed up in a helicopter. A copter. Cool. You went down. It's now in fact. I don't think I did my circles. Why? I thought Ranji, Ranji like, was like the biggest thing right now. Like, Please. I was obviously mistaken. Uh, but I would love, I, I mean, but you would have wanted to invite, right? Uh, I do. I would have. I mean, if it, I mean, if it sent it to me, I was going to like consider it. Boy, you would have gone. Yeah. You know you would have gone. But yeah, no, happy happy 50th, Zodwa. And yeah. if you're watching us, please come on the show. Happy 50th. Um, and um, if we're lucky, we'll have her on the show next please. week. Please. Please. Next week. But that's, yeah. a, that's a wrap for me, boo. That's a yeah. wrap for me. Right. Thank you guys for tuning in um, to the show. Thanks so much, y'all. Again. Absolutely. Like, subscribe. And turn on notifications. Absolutely. Because next week, we have a fantastic guest on the show, right? So if you think it's not necessary to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, hey, who am I? <laughs> who am I? You understand what I'm saying? Thank you very much for tuning into the Danny J Thanks Show. Thanks so much, Run guys. Ranchi and Danny J signing Absolutely. out. Absolutely, we out. We love you. Kana mchila utipisa deep, ndai pidwe Make you spill a bean if you know what I 